Hello and happy sketching for the 10th rule and now try to apply what you have learned a little bit freely, more easy. Um, maybe you can draw a landscape, you know how you do it. Some faint lines in the background, some perspective for the foreground and let's say our uh, sun is here and you can draw some pine trees, they go over the horizon because you are not that tall, like a pine tree. Okay, maybe something like this and a second one. They are kind of hidden sticks. So the first stick is here, the second stick is here. So the foot of this is here and this one is here. Yeah, make, let's make a third one, a smaller one, something like this. Okay, and now the question is, how can you construct the cast shadows? Um, we learned going from the sun to the foot point. This is the foot point of the sun. So um, we have the two points, the sun itself, and it casts the shadow to this direction. And we have over the feet, from the foot point of the sun over the feet. So I have the first shadow of this tree uh, somewhere here so this is kind of another image so it's a cast image of the of the pine so this has in form something to do with this here something like this same concept here um, over the top of the tree and going through the feet of uh, the pine tree. So meaning this means that the top of the tree must be somewhere here, a little bit outside of uh, my uh, sheet here. And then it's melting to the other and maybe it would have been better to have a smaller tree so it doesn't happen again let's say this tree has only the size of this so let's uh, neglect this and um, then we do the same we have here what did I say here so it goes to this for the top of the shadow and oh well it crosses somewhere here so it falls together with this other shade, uh, something here. So let's say here we have the other shade of the tree. So what I can do now, I can highlight the shadow or darken the shadow with a little bit of coloring. And these are the forms of the shadow. I could do even something similar with uh, the trees itself so that you can easily find it out a little bit more easy so cross hatching a little bit and giving contrast with the fluttering many lines again this helps to understand more where the form is we said it's only going to this form something like this underneath it might be a little bit darker so you can add a little bit of gray as well Blend it in here. Yeah, that's it. This is our landscape with the constructed cast shadow. Try it out, try it out more freely. Uh, feel comfortable with this construction. And then we are going to the next exercise. Happy sketching.